Brothers and sisters, it's the Reverend, a uh, little companion video to our review of the HOSA Elite Series cables. Uh, there you go. Um, you can read the text for uh, what we think about them. These are great cables, but uh, you can read more in the text. We just want to uh, give you a little demo of the different kinds of cable ends and construction and kind of why that matters. Um, starting at the <coughs> bottom of the heap, this is uh, something you'll see. I mean, when you first buy a guitar or if you get a pedal, this is the kind of thing that will come with it. This is what's called a molded end because that's that's because the uh, the the cable and the connector are, are connected together in the construction process and then uh, this molded jacket is uh, is put over it as a as protection and strain relief. Um, this is what it looks like um, when if you take it apart. Yeah, we cut one apart. He took one for the team. And there's the end right there. Um, uh, as you can see, it's just uh, there's not a lot there <laughs> and very little protection. The little bit of protection you get is from the molded and these things break all the time. Um, if you've got a situation like a patch bay or something like that where where things are uh, kind of stationary, they don't move around a lot, that works fine. But past that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it. Um, next up is what we known as a switchcraft style end. Um, these are uh, kind of the next step up in my estimation. They look like this. And when you unscrew the top here and take a look at it, you can see that you've got two wires there. You've got the conductor and you've got the shielding. And then there's this clamp that goes here and, and uh, clamps down on the actual cable itself, which keeps it from, you, see, you can see I'm twisting it and I'm pulling it but nothing's happening to the actual connected parts here. Um, to me, this is kind of like the second best, but I will tell you there's some people who prefer this kind of an end for guitar stuff because, you know, you're running around stage and you're pulling and you're twisting and, and uh, they, seem, they think that that works better. That's not my personal opinion, but there's a lot of people who think that. That's the Switchcraft end. Um, now we're going to go to um, what's on the... Uh, What's on these new Hosa cables, which is a Neutrik style, and and uh, you can see there when you unplug, you, you're not going to unscrew it from up here like you do with the Switchcraft end. You're actually going to unscrew it down here at the bottom. And when this comes apart, this comes down here, then the whole bear, the whole casing slides off, and you can see you got this thing underneath that is called the chuck. I believe it's called the truck. I might have that wrong. Um, but it's a, a plastic sheath. And if you look at it closely, you can see it's got actually like little teeth almost that, that, that pull in. What happens is when you, this goes over the top, again, underneath you've got your two, uh, you've got your two wires, you've got your conductor and your shield, and they're, and they're soldered here. And then this whole thing goes over. And what happens, and this is, to me is genius, the cover goes back on all the way down and then when you screw on this bottom part which doesn't look like anything what it does is it actually tightens up everything inside and if you've got that tight then those little claws that we saw actually dig into the sides of the cable and they keep it from moving at all this is my favorite type of type of end i've i've rarely rarely had had one fail and um, again, that's what they're using on the uh, Hosa Elite series. <clears throat> um, now we're going to look at one last thing. What I uh, I hate. <laughs> this is. It's like, oh my God, how can you hate that? It's a monster cable. They're the best cables in the world. No, actually, I don't think they are. I think honestly, I think Monster kind of sucks. Um, not a fan. This uses kind of Monster's version of the Neutrik. And by the way, this is the top of the line uh, Monster type cable. Um, there, they, see how it has a little kind of smaller version of that without the teeth. And when you, and, and nothing to make sure that it's really tight. I mean, you, you screw in this like you do it on a Switchcraft end. 
Um, and if you can see, that cable twists, that cable pulls. And you say, like, okay, well, I mean, if I buy a monster cable, it's guaranteed for life. Why? Hmm. Well, that would be because monsters uh, counting on a few things. First off, it's counting on the fact that you're not going to take it back. Second, it's counting on the fact that you're at a gig and you needed a cable taken care of right away. And so you try to fix it yourself. And if you try and fix it yourself, the warranty is void. Okay? So, honestly, in, in, in my estimation, what Monster is, is really good marketing. Okay cable, I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not worth what you're going to pay for it. Let's put it this way. What you would pay for this, this top-of-the-line Monster here is about the same as what you'll pay for the Hosa Elite Series. I'll take the Hosa and a heartbeat. Um, excellent. The, the cable quality is better. The sheathing is better. The overlay is better. It's got uh, double layers of, of shielding and it's got really, really good Neutrik ends and uh, this thing will last you forever. So anyway, there's the Reverend out and uh, check out the text for the full review.